ZTEC's new Emerald Phase Array unit includes full support for the full matrix capture and plane wave imaging data recording, together with the most recent advancements in TFM processing and imaging. In this short video, I will illustrate how live plane wave imaging can be used to drastically increase the scanning speed and thus the global inspection productivity. Plane wave imaging, or PWI, is an alternative firing technique that uses a multi-element aperture for pulsing. Instead of firing each element individually, like FMC. The firing sequence consists of one or more focal laws with varying angle and or aperture as shown in the animation. The receiving process is done with each element individually and a TFM frame is processed from the raw data. Live PWI TFM imaging is done during inspection and the encoded data can be saved just like for regular phase array UT or live TFM. In the first example, we use a standard 5 MHz linear array probe with 64 elements, coupled to an L-Wave wedge. The PWI firing sequence is visualized in the UltraVision Advanced Calculator. We have selected an azimuthal sweep with the full aperture of the probe from 20 to 80 degree L-Waves with an increment of 10 degrees. This means a total of seven laws. On the receiving side, a 256 by 256 TFM frame is selected. With the envelope feature activated, this configuration provides an amplitude fidelity of 0.4 dB, well below the code compliant threshold of 2 dB. I have now positioned the probe on the inevitable ASTM phase array assessment block, and more specifically on the set of 1 mm diameter side drilled holes located on a radius of 25 mm. The PWI TFM image on the left is compared to the regular FMC TFM image on the right. The envelope feature is applied in both cases. We can observe that with only seven laws in the PWI firing sequence, the image quality is nearly as good as for the FMC firing sequence. The two reflectors that are barely more than one millimeter apart can be clearly resolved and with an excellent signal to noise ratio. And in terms of maximum inspection speed, for this example, the PWI configuration will allow to scan three times faster than regular live TFM. In the second example, we use the same probe, but this time with a shear wave wedge. For a typical weld inspection in full skip, we have selected an azimuthal sweep with the full aperture of the probe from 35 to 75 degrees shear wave with an increment of 5 degrees. In this case, we have a total of nine laws. And on the receiving side, a 256 by 256 TFM frame with envelope provides a code compliant amplitude fidelity of 0.6 dB. I am now manually scanning along a 19 millimeter thick carbon steel weld with a V bevel. On the left side of the screen, we have the T-T and TT-TT reconstruction modes for the PWI firing sequence. And on the right, the same wave modes for the regular FMC TFM. And like in the first example, we observe excellent detection capability and image resolution with the nine laws in the PWI firing sequence. The three realistic flaws in the weld specimen, a lack of fusion, an incomplete penetration in the root and a toe crack are clearly detected and visualized. With the new Emerald Phase Array unit powered by UltraVision, a code compliant encoded inspection with live two sided PWI and both reconstruction modes can be performed at 60 millimeters or more than two inches per second. This is three times faster than with regular FMC TFM. And after the encoded scanning, the live PWI examination data can be analyzed in UltraVision. Operators can seamlessly use the familiar data views and all the advanced analysis tools that are also applied for regular phase array UT and live DFM inspections.